hey, Ryan's mad about the Santa thing. Which is funny because I'm pretty sure he read some of the comments, didn't he? Did he not put two and two together? What's going on guys? This is Ryan with the RK Outpost and it looks like Santa Inc. is facing far more backlash than anyone at HBO Max could have thought was possible. The woke animated comedy from Seth Rogen and Sarah Silverman essentially is telling everyone that Santa Claus is white and male and that that is a terrible thing. So it's- No. No. That's not what they said. We watched the trailer. It was basically a throwaway line like two seconds in the, in the entire trailer of two minutes between like the sex and the boobs and the the swearing it was a throwaway line of like um they mentioned that it was like it's all white men it's a boys club kind of it was that kind of throw throw off joke and then like he was talking to an elf which are like a bunch of different colors it, it wasn't saying it was bad it was just like throwing a shot at it shouldn't really have been a surprise like, you know the fragile whiteness just it has to come out just the fragility has to come out. When they put this out here, this very unfunny garbage, and it got... It, it's unfunny, but, like, Dave Chappelle, hilarious. Making fun of other people who's not white, fucking funny. Uh, make fun of white man, um, bad. It's unfunny, and he's gonna cry about it. Destroyed. The dislikes were out of this world. YouTube tried to help them out, of course, by removing the dislike button, but... Um, they said they were gonna remove it before. Mine got removed, like, two, three days ago. Some people came up with a pretty quick Chrome extension, which I'll tell you about in a little bit. You can see the ratio right here. 22,000 upvotes to 67,000 down. Like, if you want to see what they're saying in those comment sections, go look at my Nazis are mad at Santa Inc. video. Because holy shit, is it bad. Votes. That is a hard, hard ratio for them. And what did they do just about 12 hours ago or so? They completely bent the knee and turned off the comment section. What was happening in the comment section was a bunch of people were like talking openly about murdering all the Jews. That was happening in the comments of this video. I'm not surprised they canceled this fucking comment section. Because holy shit. Now before, the comment section was basically full of dislike this if you don't like this video, right? Because uh no it was not they removed the public dislike count people posting updates for the few people that could see the dislike count and people in general just roasting this for being not funny roasting seth rogan roasting sarah silverman that was the vast uh it wasn't really roasting it was anti-semitism and nazis like they were making conspiracy theories about this being the downfall of the white race majority of the comment section and they just couldn't handle it and the entire situation is so ironic because this things like this are the exact reason that youtube decided to change the dislike button that they decided to change the way that they show it and not publicly display it so that they could put out things like this trash no nobody cares about the dislike button the comments were disabled for obvious reasons like nazi shit terrible shit fair enough you don't want that on your fucking trailer like dislikes nobody cares like this and they wouldn't get as much backlash so they could protect things like cnn msnbc the mainstream news sources who are constantly getting ratio have they ever presented any evidence whatsoever that cnn gives a fuck about their dislike ratio like i spent two hours last night mocking these idiots because they were doing like this many dislikes and then i'd say no it's now this because nobody cares <laughs> like it's actually sadder that you guys care more about this than anybody else it shows you don't know what grass is youtube accounts like the white house who are lucky if they get a 10 percent like ratio and oh my god he's that fucking dumb he's never left this house the u.s government the government that leads bloody coups in south america who has slaughtered millions in proxy wars during the Cold War. They don't care about the dislike to like ratio. They they don't. It's irrelevant to what they're doing. They don't care. You sad person. And of course, big companies, whether it be Disney, a Lucasfilm, Star Wars, YouTube's channel, things like- You're not hurting the bottom line by doing this. It, it's why you guys fail at protest because you guys think this matters. 
Meanwhile, people who know what the fuck they're doing are actually having protests with, like, PR, cameras everywhere. They're getting attention. Meanwhile, you guys think this is protesting. You guys are literally, like, the stereotypical, like, online lib when it comes to, like, what you think matters. Like that. And, of course, Santa Inc. And we've seen some of the articles that have been talked about from this. Uh, Sarah Silverman voices Elf seeking to disrupt the... Oh, my God. It's bounding into comics. I don't even care at this point. Fuck off. Be Santa Claus... Uh, talking about how bad it is and how terrible it is. That it was one joke. Oh, it's a boys club full of white dudes, and you're not white in a dude. That white people are in charge. That white men are in charge. That's what this entire thing is about. And it probably didn't help the backlash either that this was immediately in the aftermath of Seth Rogen embarrassing himself. trying to. Get not really embarrassing. He told a joke. I've already gone over this, too. Like, does he have anything new to say? Return YouTube dislike. You'll find it. You can put it oh in. Oh, my God. They're this sad. Chrome, and you will be able to see this as well. If you don't want to do that, I can show you another way. You can go to HBO Max on Social Blade. You can go over to user videos. And when we go to user videos, they still have the rating percentage. And when you look right here at Santa Inc., it's at 3.3%. Pathetic, pathetic. I mean, yeah, you brigaded it with Reddit. Like, yeah, it's going to be low. I mean, it doesn't prove you right. It just proves you guys are very petty and sad. I mean, look at all this effort they're going through just to find the dislike ratio. It, it's kind of sad. Pathetic, pathetic. But that is what these people have done, right? They, they have removed your ability to comment on it. They have made it so a lot of people can't even see who dislikes it. I mean, it. yeah, they got rid of it because you guys were, like, doing, like, Nazi conspiracies and talking about wiping out Jews. Yeah, you, you can't do that and leave it up. Like, don't do that. So if I come to this, I'm going to have no idea what the feedback will be for this. Watch the trailer. You stupid fuck. It's not hard to watch a trailer that's only three minutes long. Base your opinions on the trailer, not what other people think, you fucking sheep. You pathetic, weak-minded fuck. How sad is your life when you have to look at what everybody else is doing to make up your mind about something? It's garbage, garbage movie. And I am sure, I am positive, that we're about to see things that say... Oh, these evil trolls said bad things in the comment section. That's why they were removed. And really, we need to remove all YouTube comment sections because of things like this. They're going to try to pick and choose one or two things in the comment section that were probably horrific or whatever. And I mean, I went through the comment sections. It was literally like them calling for the Holocaust again, denying it. Yellow Flash 2 showed it on his channel. Like, these guys were literally like being Nazis. And the fact that they were still mad and being Nazis in my comment section after I made fun of them is hilarious. They're going to try to say, that's a reason this shouldn't happen. These are the type of fans. These are the type of people that we can't. Why do I get the feeling that this guy does this a lot in his corners of the room? Like, he's eating out of, like, an old cookie thing that's just, like, dough. He's just eating out of it and, like, crying. Like, no, Gina Carano's a good actress. It's amazing. And, like, he just sits there crying about it all night. That's why he's so good at this crying voice, because that's what he does all night have watching and commenting on our things and then he goes on to social blade finds a video with a lot of dislikes and like jerks off to the thought of like it being dislike ratioed because that's like his life now now granted i masturbate too but like that's because i have fun <laughs> it's a it's a fun activity for me that i do once in a while for him it's like he has to like prove he's a man by doing it you know, inevitably, that will be the case. Because They're let's be honest, he ain't getting no sex. They're going to try to blame racism. They're going to try to blame sexism. That's always how this uh, is when the reality is the vast majority. Of no. What happened was a bunch of people were like being Nazis. Yeah. I would say that's one of the few times you should get rid of your comments. Because it's a bunch of Nazis circle jerking each other. If people... Just think that this is hot garbage. They want to define... Um, people didn't think it was hot garbage. It's just the Nazis crying. And you, as a racist or a sexist, if you think that maybe a movie shouldn't just literally shit on white men, just... It did it. It was a throwaway joke. I watched the trailer on my channel. Go watch the end of that video. I watched the whole thing. For the sin of being white men. But that's the state of this... It was literally... What the fuck was it?
I'll go find it. Hold up. But the position of Santa has mostly been a white man's game. Exactly. It's fucking crazy. Things have got to change. My advice to you is... Whoa! Yeah, that's basically all they did. That, that's all it was, was just like somebody wanting change. If I die, get rid of my porn! And then it's completely overshadowed by the porn joke. I want to be the next Santa. If this is your dream, you have to at least make your case, bitch. You gotta get intimate with that jolly bitch, bitch. I know you're right, but do you really have to call me bitch every time you say something? Yes, bitch, because it's empowering to call you bitch, bitch. Yeah, see, they're, they're like joking about the whole fucking thing. They're not just making fun of one people. Let's go over what we know. Santa and the board are all male and all white. They play golf, drink, smoke cigars, say things like, don't ever marry your mistress. Just so you know, the women of the North Pole make fun of one of your dicks. Have fun wondering whose it is. Uh, yeah, it's just like generic stoner shit. But this was enough to trigger the fragile fucking snowflakes. You couldn't be more fragile if you fucking tried. Santa Inc. trailer. Like, a gentle fart in his general direction would shatter him like a fucking pane of glass. Uh, after removing dislikes without the Chrome extension, then... They didn't remove it. It was already removed. They said they were going to remove dislikes. Your dislikes are gone for me. I can't see them. And they went ahead and turned off the comment. They turned these off hours after they did this because the comment section just filled with scum. Comments as well. They don't want you speaking about it because they don't want anyone's feedback. They just want to... Uh, you can talk about all you want. You get your Twitters. Look, you got your Instagrams, your Twitters, your locals. Look, you can go there. You can talk about all you want. Who's stopping you? Shove it down your throats. Let me know what you think about all this in the comments. It's so fucking... It's a, such a stupid thing. To, like, we can't talk about this. They, they removed the comments. You, you can talk all you want. Look, you're talking about it right now. Like, if, if you're that fucking stupid, I, I can't help you. I, I The most I can do is, like, give you an overdose of morphine or something to end your suffering. That's all that can help you if you're that fucking stupid.